Newton is the main protagonist, it was an evil son biohazard and was an evil eight village. His story ended at the end of was an evil village. But we're not too sure if that means that it did not agree turn back, it was an evil nine. He was going on game pack over here. Like if you are going doing a series video about what's in the evil world. If you haven't known yet, the series video usually contains spoilers, and this one specifically does contain spoilers. Spoilers for both what's in the evil seven, what's the evil biohazard, and what's in the evil eight, what's in the evil eight village. Sorry, what's in the what's in that evil village? And today, today video we will be discussing how Ethan can come back and was in the evil nine. So if you haven't played or watched Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8, I totally recommend to you go play it or watch it. And if you didn't play or watch it, you can go watch our reaction to the whole game, Resident Evil Village. Uh, I'll add a cut up here for a playthrough. And anyway, let's get into the same video. Again, this game will con this video will contain spoilers for both Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8. So if you haven't watched it play yet, just click on this video because it will contain spoilers for the ending of the game. Mainly was the evil village, but any of was an evil village. And so yeah, let's click on the video if you haven't seen it yet. Anyways, let's do this. So at the end of was in the evil village, towards the end, after the after Ethan come back alive and defeat Mother Miranda, he give back he gave Roses back. After that, the virus seemed to go and uh, the virus seemed to be gone. Chris comes back, Chris Redfield comes back and try to get Ethan to get out of there in time because the vi cause Chris Redfield put a bomb put a bomb in the virus that will blow the sky high, meaning that they can't be anywhere near the bomb because, well, they'll blow up. That won't make play, I guess. Anyways, um, Chris Redfield tried to, tried to bring Ethan to a helicopter to get out of the village, but Ethan had to stay back because Ethan was part of the mold. And he somehow he stayed back and saved was was his daughter and Chris Redfield. Ethan couldn't go any longer, so he basically sacrificed himself for everyone else to get out alive. He took the um, detonator bomb to see if he had like a detonator bomb, and he sacrificed himself. But like in many games, the only ending stone let me off. It's sad that ending. Let's be honest, but is Ethan really dead? Um, at the end credits of Resident Evil 7, after the credits played, sorry, Resident Evil 8, after the credits played, Rosemary, which is she's like a teenager now, I think, she goes back to where her father was buried, where her father's grave is, and uh, where Ethan went to the grave is, and then Rose and Dale. And he tried talking to his dad, saying happy birthday, because that would, would be his birthday. And then after that, they were Chris hired. After that, an agent from Chris Redfield team came up, and he was sent to pick up um, Rosemary Winters, so they can do it to do her training, I think. After that, um, Chris. After that, the agent drove off and came was married to Chris Field. That he didn't anything bad or anything, just to do some more training for her. But there was someone, if you catch an eye on it, there was someone as they were driving a lot, there was someone walking beside the car. And that was no stranger, that was someone that was, that was someone really important. Um, Many people try to go into photo mode, there's a photo mode option inside the game and the photo mode basically makes you can zoom in at some cameras places and somebody might get to game files and actually see who was walking beside the car and apparently it was Ethan Winters this one many people have peculated that this is Ethan Winters and it's confirmed so Maybe it's not confirmed, but maybe I think it's a Ethan Winters character model. So it seems like Ethan Winters could be still be was the Evil Nine. And in today's video, we could be discussing two ways of how Ethan Winters could be turned with Evil Nine. Was the Evil Nine? 
it's not going to force to become me out. We don't even know if Resident Evil is continuing. We just speculate about it. So it this this is a silly video again. So this could be all incorrect. But anyways, list your opinion down below. Ethan Winters could come back. The one way Ethan Winters could come back in Resident Evil Nine is as if Rosemary could only see her. It wasn't Evil Eight. At the end of Resident Evil Seven was at the end of Resident Evil Seven. Evelyn, the main protagonist of the game, Ethan Winters defeated her, but he Ethan Winters could saw her back was an evil village. So as a like a hallucination. So that how I think Rosemary is gonna ha gonna see Ethan Winters. That Rosemary can only see Ethan. Maybe by hallucination, but maybe they, they still talk to each other. Seeing how Rosemary him in tree all these years because how hopefully Rosemary was in good hands. We don't know about that. Anyways, um, but most likely how Ethan Winter could come back is that it may be. I always wonder is the um grave Ethan Winter's grave where Rosemary usually gets like is Ethan's body inside? I know it's a weird thing to say, but. Is Ethan's body sided because you know he got kind of flaming and he didn't make it out alive. So did they manage to recover Ethan's body and bury it, or was it just like a standing point for his where his grave was supposed to be? You know, but so if it if it's not if it if the body is not in the grave, where is it then? I mean, it could just be missing. So and if it's missing, what if somebody took it in? We know that I know what's an evil eight. I'm a soldier, the BSA, which is basically a police force. I think in the with the evil universe, the BSA didn't send soldier to stop Mother Miranda. They sell bio weapons like a whole zombie, like a whole zombie virus where they can kill these robots to try to try to kill them off. But it wasn't even. We know at the end of Resident Evil Village, or the Evil A, we know that the PSAA, which is basically one of the police forces of the Resident Evil universes, of the Evil World, we know that they didn't send soldiers to defend bioweapons, which basically they control these, they control these cool robots, like zombie cat robots, to go defeat Mother Miranda. But after that, Chris Redfield ordered his team. To pay a visit to PSAA to to talk to them about what's going on, what they plan to do. Now, if they now this Resident Evil storyline will also have all to do with viruses, experiments, vaccines, all those kind of stuff. So, and so if it's if the BSAA is experimenting with bioweapons, they could be a threat in Resident Evil Nine. Or how the pilot will take over, maybe, and how we have to find the like main enemies. And you know how it was the A, how they had a werewolves, and had a lichen, that's what they were called. They had lichens, and it was the evil nine, but I had those whoop, the whole same belt and attacking the main protagonist, main Rosemary, or whoever he playing is as. Most likely was Mary Joe. And so. The reason why I talk about experiments is because Ethan, we don't know if his body again is in the grave. We don't know if his body was recovered from the explosion. We don't know yet. We don't even know if they even cleaned the same mess they made in the village after they blew it up. So if Ethan Winter's body is not there or is maybe missing even, that means that maybe Ethan Winter's or going to be experimented. It may be a crazy idea, crazy idea, but you never know. Ethan Winters could be experimented on. Remember, he's one of those people who had control of the virus. He, and when and Anna was in the Evil Seven, Ethan Winters, and in the beginning was Evil Seven, it was as he died, as Evelyn revealed to him. But he, I think he was part of the virus and everything. I went to control of him, but Ethan had control of his own mind. He know what he can thought and he can fight back, very powerful. 
it is very powerful that can control his own thoughts even if someone tried to control him so his mind like Evan Chad did. So if that was going on, it is a very powerful character, both mentally and physically. So it has to what you just said. Many organization want to control him, may pipe PSA or some other organization. The organization is it can mark him back alive by people trying to bring him back alive to control of him because he has a very powerful ability. That that both a good thing and a bad thing. Let's think because of course Ethan could come back alive as I was in at nine. But also a bad thing because we don't know how Ethan might react. We don't know because he presumably think he's dead but they were not actually dead. He did break back alive. That's my same view anyway but uh, Ethan could come back into Resident Evil 9. Resident Evil 9 by experiments and in Resident Evil 9 Rosemary could see things like how was how Ethan went to saw Evelyn in Resident Evil Village how he was actually talking to him to her and uh, Evelyn was talking to Ethan oh well, weird conversation by the way anyways um Rosemary could be talking to Ethan or how and if Ethan would use the experiments Ethan could contact Rosemary by how Evelyn how know how Evelyn contact Ethan the same way probably Ethan can contact Rosemary. That means that Ethan could tell Rosemary that he's in danger and that he'll know if he could be control his own mind because Ethan will control his own mind, he knew it the whole time, but he didn't We don't know if somebody else can can possibly take control of Ethan. We have no idea. Again, this again this is this is a for you. This could all be false. But the one thing that I think why Ethan could come back come back to us even nine is because of the ending credits. Remember the ending credits, somebody was walking uh, someone was walking right next to the car when Rosemary was in. So and that was most likely Ethan Winters and somebody did hack into the out tab, pull it up, but someone someone managed to get close to look at who was in the who was near who was walking near the car and that was that was that was Ethan Winters. I was showing a video. So if it's it is true, Ethan Winters might come back alive and Capcom obviously put that inside there to make a speculate theory right and how and how Ethan would just could come back or if Ethan was is still alive. Most likely he's not alive but he could come back in some kind of way, come back to life. It wasn't even not we know was the you know when was the evil aid that Ethan is special. I mean, towards the end Ethan Winters almost died, but then Evelyn told him that your body is nothing but mold and that you don't need all your organs you don't need all your part body parts to stay alive and he come back alive with our heart. That basically what happened, and then Miranda was still surprised. I think the people of Miranda, he didn't sacrifice himself for like a second time. I think he died, but now we don't know. But now, this is the way that Ethan could come back alive. This is just some of the ways that Ethan come back alive. I'm pretty sure there's many ways Ethan went to come back alive. Anyway, there's only two ways. One, one was an experiment where he could, one was an experiment where he could come back. By organization, experiment that him try that him come back alive because he's obviously powerful. Second way he could come back was probably simple. Was like uh, just see Ethan Winters and communicate with them, just like how Ethan Winters will communicate with Evelyn and Resident Evil Eight. Anyway, that's it for the today's video. I hope you enjoyed again. Hopefully, the video is good. Hopefully, you enjoy because this is my first three video I did. And no way it will improve if you didn't like it the first time. Anyway, I would like to say a video. Come down below your theories on uh, on Western Evil Night and how it tends to come back. Is do you believe Ethan Winters will come back with Resident Evil Night or do, do you believe his stories is now done? Anyways, I would like to say video. If it, I would like to see a video, if you be sure to leave a like to, to allow me. If this video could like ten likes, someone that. I definitely do when most of videos by Western Evil and other games I did on this on this channel. And if you are going to play video if you did, just hit that subscribe button, turn on notification. And yeah, I'll see you I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.